cool pick. I can't believe it. You in town? Mac, if I was in town, I'd be at your place with my feet up watching golf. <laughs> Calling from my truck. Well, you need directions, Jim? Sounds like you're lost. Funny. You know Indians don't get lost. I'm going to stop in town for some takeout. How about we meet at Arling Ridge? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Tanyana Manyo. Travel well, Jim. Always do. Damn. Please listen. It's all there is, swear to God. Guess that just about caps it for you, don't it? None of your affair, Tonto. You just stare at my way, and we don't have a problem. Do we, uh, huh, China boy? was going to kill me. Mister, are you okay? Fine. What are you doing? I thought you came to help. in the highlands of Scotland, and he is still alive. He is immortal. For 400 years, he's been a warrior, a lover, a wanderer, constantly facing other immortals in combat to the death. The winner takes his enemy's head, and with it, his power. I am a watcher. Part of a secret society of men and women who observe and record, but never interfere. We know the truth about immortals. In the end, there can be only one. May it be Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander.
So this guy's a real medicine man, huh? Holy man. Coltex a Hayoka. His job was protecting his tribe from evil by absorbing it before he got to them. A spiritual scud missing. What happened to his tribe? He couldn't protect them from famine, or drought, or the white man. They died off, all of them. Everyone but him. That's rough. Yeah, but Colte believed he had a purpose, so he turned himself outward and became Hyoka for the world. Sounds pretty ambitious. But he has a, a spiritual power that connects him to people and things. I've never seen anything like it. Mac, you make it sound as if the guy can do real magic. I always figured you for a nuts and bolts kind of guy. And now? Now I'm not so sure. See, as a kid, I was very cynical. If I couldn't see it and I couldn't feel it, it wasn't real. Certainly, if anybody had ever told me that immortals exist... You would have thought they were crazy. Exactly. So now I'm wondering to myself, what other kind of strange stuff is out there? I saw the cover of a tabloid. Apparently, a guy in England has proof that werewolves exist. Really? Yeah. Well, there'll be a run of silver bullets now. But we exist. I mean, who's to say there's none other weird stuff out there running around? Richie, I've lived for 400 years. I've never seen a werewolf, an elf, or a vampire. Mind you, I did hear that there was a troll that lived underneath a bridge around here somewhere. Oh, very funny. But you believe in Coltec? You believe that he can do real magic? I believe that there are some things that defy any logical explanation, yes. I also believe there is power and faith and will. You still didn't answer my question. Do you believe that Coltec can do real magic? Maybe you should ask him. Oh, man. Couldn't you have met this guy in a bar or something? What's the matter? Don't you like the fresh air? Look at it out here. Isn't it beautiful? Look. Look, look at that. Oh, what are you doing? Don't do that. What's the matter? Don't you like heights? I love heights. We had these things all over the east side when I was a kid. What are you doing? I think we should spend more time out here. Yeah, well, I think we should spend more time on the other side. Hey, you must be Jim Coltec. I'm Richie Ryan, friend of Max. Is that a fact? <laughs> Coming down here.